Oh, hello there. Allow me to express an unpopular opinion for a moment, if I may. Labor Day, as a national holiday, is a scam, and I hate it. No, no, I'm not going to try and steal your get-out-of-work-free day. You can rest easy enjoying your barbecue and beer while your boss ultimately picks up the slack to keep your pay stubs coming in, all because some arbitrary holiday was marketed to celebrate the working class and you now feel entitled to it. It's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every first Monday of September. Seeing as I'm apparently the only one who knows that around here, allow me to explain my opinion. Now, Labor Day was created at a rare moment in history where unions actually served a purpose beyond bitching about six-figure benefit packages and determining which other members' tires they'd slash because of bullshit card check voting. See, that's because the Industrial Revolution, unlike the Agricultural Revolution which preceded it, resulted in an economy with a select few people at the top and then a manual labor class in the factories who were working very long hours just to squeak out a living, sometimes 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, notice that was an actual moment in history, unlike the fabricated one today from entitled leftist socialists who bitch that the American dream is more out of reach than ever because they might have to work a double shift at their retail job to pay off their gender studies degree that they think the taxpayers should ultimately subsidize. <laughs> also, notice that I said manual laborers and not working class because the idea that someone who owns that factory or today, someone who owns a business or happens to be an independent contractor is not working is absurd, insulting, and ironically, any intellectual. Think about it. The only difference between a lawyer, a doctor, an investor, or independent business owner, and the working class, as is the current nomenclature, is that the former simply work with their minds instead of their bodies. Does that mean that their work is any less valuable? I thought the left had the corner on intelligentsia. Or does that only apply to modern humanities majors who posit theories and philosophies that needn't yield results in the real world? But hey, that just mirrors Marxism to a T. After all, what gives the working class or proletariats the rights to have the government violently seize businesses and means of production from others outside of the fact that the very cerebral work required to create it in the first place is simply not valued in a communist society? While we're speaking of value, let's go back to the value of time. Again, today most Americans are horrified to learn that in the time of the Industrial Revolution, many people were working 12-hour days without breaks. Because in the age of today, the average 34-hour work week, who would ever consider putting themselves through that? And that's where we come full circle. Today, while you enjoy your melanoma and corn beer, there are still plenty of people who work those kinds of hours without the benefit of a labor union. They're called business owners. You know, the people you'll inevitably find time to vilify today between your hot dog eating contest and waking up in a boozy puddle of your own filth on some stranger's lawn. Because while you were taking the day off to play drunken lawn darts, they were likely working to make sure that the lights are still on. Someone has to make sure that you can find your way when you tardily stumble in on Tuesday looking for the Alka-Seltzer. Listen, enjoy your silly day off and have fun. My only point here is that Labor Day just highlights the gross mass generalizations that come from the left in the 21st century. Even though they accuse the right of being racist at every opportunity possible, it is they who exclusively separate and view people through the prism of sex, race, age, and yes, socioeconomic status. This classism is just another way to divide and conquer, turn brother against brother, and to make you think that you're somehow owed something that only Big Brother can provide. So enjoy your Labor Day, and enjoy your weekends off and eight-hour work days for that matter. And yes, like you'll see in all the social media trends today, you can in part thank a union for those luxuries. Just know that they're afforded to you because of someone who enjoys none of them. Someone who doesn't have a standard weekend and has likely gone years of working tireless hours and borrowing money just to make payroll. So, okay, for your time off, benefits, and silly little end of summer holiday, thank a union. As for your job and the ability to provide for you and yours, thank a business owner. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe or hit the notification bell. I think you see some videos playing in boxes up above, but you may or may not know we've been demonetized on YouTube. So you can actually support this channel by joining Mug Club, loudwithcredit.com slash Mug Club. Uh, you get this wonderful hand-etched mug along with hours of content every week, the full daily show that you don't get here on YouTube. Also, if you want to see, see this with the hint, if you want to see Nip, that can't be on YouTube. you got to join Mug Club. Nips for Mug Club.